There are so many websites to build programs, but you might ask yourself these questions. What are the differences among them? If you are a Muse user looking for alternatives, you are a professional looking for new options, a student or new in web design, this is a full guide to understand the pros and cons of some popular website builders. We're going to compare Adobe Muse with Adobe XD, Spark, Dreamweaver, WordPress with Webflow, Wix, Squarespace and Bootstrap Studio. Of all these apps, we're going to analyze these following features as we consider them very important we think you should take them into account when you make your decision to choose your final website builder. Coding knowledge. Do you need to know HTML or CSS to use these apps or these skills aren't required? The learning curve. How hard is it to learn how to use these programs and how fast will I progress? Pricing and license fee. How much does it cost and for how long? Hosting and maintenance fees. Can I host my site in my own server? How much will it cost per month or per year to host my site with them? Community sizes. How many users are using these apps? Are there forums or tutorials that I can search for whenever I get stuck? Professional results. Can I build professional websites for my clients or this is just an amateur app? E-commerce. How hard or easy is it to turn my site into an online shop? Full site property. This means if you own the site's files and databases and if you have the freedom to move them to any server provider. Before we start reviewing all the apps, the right thing is to review Adobe Muse first. So, let's go! So Muse is a website builder that allows you to build responsive websites without writing a single line of code. What is great about Muse is the design freedom also, it's easy to learn, especially for designers who are familiar with other programs like Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign, as some tools and the way Muse work was pretty similar to, to, to these. Muse right now is still available in the Creative Cloud subscription, but it'll reach to a point where it won't be inside the Creative Cloud. So the price of this subscription is $52.99 a month, if you use more than one program, then it is worth it. Um, another option is to purchase the license of a single product, but I think that in this case, in Muse, um, Adobe doesn't offer this option anymore, although it does offer it for the other programs in the Creative Cloud. Once you finish your design, you just click on Export to HTML and you could upload this, your site to any server. There are available tutorials on YouTube, not only from Adobe, but also from uh, other developers and other users. Um, also, there was a market for widgets and templates. You could find this also in Muse Widgets official site, and you could also find them too in, in Theme Forest and an active forum in Adobe official website. As I said before, it's easy to build professional looking websites in Muse, but if your site is complex, you would encounter a lot of issues. Um, about e-commerce, in Muse you could build a simple online shop using third-party widgets or linking your products to your Shopify store or your Equit store. About payments, credit card wasn't available so you had to rely on uh, PayPal or Payoneer or something similar. And in Muse you also had the freedom to move your files and database to any hosting provider. Dreamweaver is a visual code editor that has a visual editor that allows you to preview in real time the changes that you're making to the code. So I wouldn't recommend Dreamweaver for beginners because it's going to take you a while to get to understand how it works, uh, plus also the coding knowledge, but I do recommend this for professionals with coding experience. It's also available in the Creative Cloud subscription for $52.99 a month and in this case you can also purchase a single app um, just for $20.99 a month. You can host the sites built with Dreamweaver in any server and there's no maintenance, there's no extra fees charged. There's an active forum in Adobe's official site. Also, there are other forums started by Dreamweaver users. The community is pretty big and you can also find lots of articles and 
blog posts and tutorials also on YouTube and you also get kit support. This app offers you the tool to build professional looking websites. Um, you can build online shops with different payment options, but mostly a lot of coding will be involved here depending on the requirements of your online shop. And you do have the property of the sites that you build with Dreamweaver um, and you have the freedom to move it from one hosting provider to another. About Adobe XD, I want to make something clear. Um, to the date, to the date the video, this video has been published, Adobe XD is not a website builder. We've decided to include Adobe XD in this review because there are a lot of users that are asking uh, what can they do with Adobe XD and there's a lot of Muse users, ex-Muse users that are looking at Adobe XD as an alternative. So I just wanted to make clear that it's not yet a website builder. It is an app to prototype any user experience from website to mobile apps. You cannot export your designs into HTML. Um, I think you can export the assets that you use, but then you'll need another app, another program to make that, to turn that into a website. I do think that in the future, this will be in Adobe's plans, but so far it's still a prototyping tool. So I'm still going to review Adobe XD as a website builder, so no coding skills are required. Also, um, I think it's a light learning curve, um, especially for experienced graphic designers. There's a free limited version, but if you want to get all the features as all the programs in Adobe, you can find it in the Creative Cloud for $52.99 a month, or you can purchase the individual app. It was launched not long ago in 2016 and the community is growing. I think most of the community, you can find it around the official website and you can also find um, third parties developing extensions and blogs talking about it and how to tutorials on YouTube. And again, you will be able to prototype professional looking websites, online stores, but you still cannot upload them or export them to HTML. You will need another app, another program to do that. Webflow is a website platform builder that offers you templates, the software to design, and a hosting service. You will build your designs based on code, but with a visual builder. So in this case, you would need basic knowledge of CSS and HTML. For this reason, this app is not that intuitive if you are a beginner. In Webflow, you have the option to build your site for free. So it's good if you want to try this tool. You can publish your site on the .webflow.io subdomain or you will need to pay hosting services to Webflow. Website plans start from $12 a month per site and also extra fees are charged for CMS or e-commerce. You can find more Webflow users in their official forum. Also, there are tutorials on Webflow University and on YouTube too. And there's also a market for Webflow templates. Most of this you can find it in their official website. You can build professional looking websites, but it has some feature limitations and you can see users requesting for these features in the forum. E-commerce is on beta stage right now. They announced this on November 2018. And unfortunately, you don't have the freedom to move your site to another server. WordPress is the most popular CMS where you can build a website, an online shop, a portfolio, uh, a blog for free. No fees will be charged on WordPress site. I'm talking about WordPress.org, not WordPress.com because they're completely different. Okay, remember WordPress.org is for free. It's open source. There's no fee, nothing that's going to be charged on WordPress site. No coding skills are required to build your site. It's super fast to learn and it's free. You can host your site in any server and no extra fees will be charged. The good thing about WordPress is that it's been around for so long, so the community is huge. You can find lots of help in the official forum. Um, there are lots of tutorials on YouTube and experts contribute with free plugins and themes. You can easily build professional websites with visual builders like Page Builder by Site Origin, um, Themes Generator or Elementor, and turning your site into an online shop just 
as easy as installing a free plugin called WooCommerce. And in WordPress, you do have the freedom to move your site from one hosting provider to another. Wix is also an all-in-one platform that offers hosting, offers templates, a website builder, and also a domain registrar. No coding skills are required and also no experience at all. It's easy and fast to learn because you have to start with one of their templates. You can build your site for free, but if you want extra features like e-commerce, then you will need to pay. You get free hosting if you publish your site in a Wix subdomain. But if you want to upload your site to your own domain, that means that you need to host the site with them and get the unlimited plan, which costs like $12.50 a month at least to get a decent hosting and remove ads. There are tutorials on YouTube and hundreds of themes that you can find on Wix official website, but it seems that they're all designed by the Wix team and not from a community of users because I haven't found uh, a marketplace for these themes. So this is the thing about Wix. You can build professional looking websites, but if you are a professional web designer, I don't think Wix is the choice for you. I mean, I think it's more suitable for users with no knowledge at all about web design or no experience. And it seems that tweeting your site to an online shop is easy once you pay for it. And last, if you choose Wix as your website builder, that means that you will also have to host your site with them and you don't have the freedom to migrate it to another server. In Bootstrap Studio, you design responsive websites using Bootstrap Framework. It uses a drag-and-drop interface that also suggests you which elements can be nested one in another. And if this is not enough for you, you also get full control of the code that you can edit using a text editor like Sublime. So, although no coding is required, you do have the option to edit the code. It's pretty intuitive and easy to use. You can go to their site and run their browser demo. There's a standard license for $29 with updates during a year. And also they have a lifetime license for $60. You get a free .bss subdomain, but you also have the option to export your site and upload it to any standard server. The community is not that big. You can find tutorials on YouTube, on their official website too, and a forum. You can build professional sites, but with some limitations like e-commerce. You can add payment forms into your site, but you will need to add custom code if you really want to turn your site into an online shop. And as you can export your site and upload it to any standard server, that also means that you have the freedom to move it from one server to another. Adobe Spark is a free online design app and like Adobe XD, Spark is not a website builder. I've included Spark for the same reason I've also included Adobe XD in this video because I've been asked several times about my opinion and my experience with Spark and also because I know that some of you also consider this as an alternative to Muse. So just to make it clear, Spark isn't a website builder, but it is a design app. It's great for amateurs, it's great for students or anybody who wants to make a beautiful and nice presentation or just to tell a story. I'm still going to review Spark as a website builder, so no coding skills are required. Blocks are simple and already made and they're already animated. It's very, very easy to learn and it actually takes you like less than an hour to get how it works. There's a free option and a paid version with premium features starting from $12 a month. Also, you can find this app in the Creative Cloud. No hosting is required, but you do get a generated link that you can share to people. So far, we have just found a forum in Adobe official site and some how-to tutorials on YouTube. You cannot build a professional website with Spark. This app is for amateurs, for students, or anybody who wants to make a beautiful, nice one-page presentation. You cannot turn this into an online shop either. And as I said, no hosting is required and you cannot export your designs into HTML so you cannot upload them to any server. Squarespace is another all-in-one platform. No coding skills or experience is required. It seems easy to use in the beginning, but when you try to set up your site, it gets a bit confusing and not that user-friendly. 
A personal site license is $11 and you will be charged extra fees for complex sites and e-commerce. You must host your site with them and this price is already included in the license fee. You can build professional websites but their lack of support for third-party apps or extensions makes their functionalities a bit too basic. I would describe Squarespace like a professional Wix. You know what I mean? You can build a simple online shop in Squarespace, but it won't work for big and complex sites. And as you have to host your site with them, this means that you don't have the freedom to move your site to another server. After testing all these apps and trying to build a website with the apps that they're actually website builders, we are definitely sticking to WordPress and Themes Generator because in our opinion, we find it the most powerful tool and you have all these extra functionalities that are for free and no extra fees will be ever charged. Um, WordPress is an open CMS and you also get this design freedom that you had in Muse. So this was my experience with these apps and I would love if you guys did the same, if you could share your experience in the comments below this video. If you have any comments or doubts, please post them in the comment section below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And if you don't want to miss any and get notified, then ring the bell that's below the video. Thank you for watching.